Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I'll quickly let you know how exactly you can get your free Intel DevCloud account registered. You are going to gain free access to Intel DevCloud if you follow the simple steps that I'm going to give you here. The Intel DevCloud is a development sandbox and it will help you learn about programming cross-architecture applications with a lot of one API content. It's going to be really nice. What do you get out of this DevCloud? Simple, you get free access to Intel one API toolkits, you get 220 GB of file storage, 192 GB RAM, 120 days of free access which can be definitely extended if you are doing good work and terminal interface, Visual Studio Code integration facilities and importantly you get remote desktop options for Intel One API rendering toolkit as well. You get an option to run your code with CPU, GPU and FVG. Having said this, it's easy for you to enroll and to get free access for the Intel DevCloud. So, the link that you need to go is cloud.intel.com slash one API. So I have gone into that link and the moment you get into that link, you'll have something called as get free access. Just click it. Please keep your email ID handy which you want to register with for one API access. Now you have got option called create an account. The moment you do that, you will be taken to the page where you will have to fill the information. I am giving my email ID. This is mandatory and confirm email has to be done. So this is also important. Then first name, I'm giving my first name and language. You can give the language, select the region that you are from and password, you will have to give a strong password. So I'm giving a password and I am retyping the password. And you can subscribe if you wish. The next step is to verify your email. If all the details are given correctly, you will get a verification code immediately into your inbox and you can see that I have gotten it here. So, the verification code is to be typed and that's what I am going to do right now. 819360, right? Yeah. Now, create a code. That's all. It's created and you will have now options to go ahead and explore with DevCloud. I'll show you the procedure as well and it's not going to take much time. So that's it. You've got your account created properly. It is asking you for some details. So I can see what type of user am I? I'm a researcher, something like that you can give. And you need to accept the terms and conditions after scrolling it through. Read it through if you want. And you can select subscriptions, whichever you want, and submit. That's all. The moment you submit it, it's all going to be easy for you. That's all. Your account is created. Now, where do I go? How do I get access? All these things are to be conveyed right now. You will see that right immediately in front of you once this process is done. It's all very easy. So, follow the procedure. I'll also give you the links in the description so that you will not have any hiccups when you are trying. Right. Now, your button called as get started, just click this. This will take you to the next level. So you can see that they are providing you step by step information which will take you through the process in a seamless way. Now it is all done. If you see, they have provisioned everything and it is all done for you. Now what is the next step to go? The next step to go is very simple. You need to go to the link called as devcloud.intel.com slash one APA slash get underscore started. You can sign in into it with the username and the password that you have registered with and you can scroll this page through where you will find connect to JupyterLab option. The moment you click it, you will get connected to JupyterLab where you can start typing your code and exploring all the one API content and this will be really nice for you and very easy for you to explore as well. You got to accept the terms and conditions wherever they prompt you to and once you are done with it, it's going to be really easy for you. So let's go and find out exactly Jupyter Lab launching works. So this is the page I told you devcloud.intel.com slash one API slash get started launch Jupyter Lab you click and the first time you may have to agree to the terms and conditions as I did and the next time onwards it will be easy for you. You need to just click sign in and it will take you to the Jupyter Hub. You have got the Jupyter Hub integrated with one API and that will make your life much easier and you can start typing your code right away in the Jupyter Lab. It may take few seconds for the logging in. Now you could see that 
you are into the dev cloud you are using the jupyter interface and you can go ahead and do whatever you want with respect to development here you got the notebook so other options available here where you have linux terminals also available for you you got a lot of files available that can help you in taking you through the complete understanding of how this particular setup works so try it out in case you have any questions you can always reach us out and we'll be very happy to help you i'll give the links in the description section so that you will not have any trouble thank you